Sandtroopers.com. Never imitating, always innovating. Bringing you the latest coverage in the Star Wars galaxy. Hey Sand Trooper members, it's Chris Rhodes here, also known as Dustro in the forums. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little review here about an older figure from the Revenge of the Sith line. Uh, his name is the Clone Commander, number 33. I truly think this is one of the best figures uh, made probably since this line came about. Um, the really nice thing I like about this are the amount of accessories you get with it. The, uh, you get the clone trooper rifle, comes with two clone trooper pistols, and then this grappling gun with the grappling attachment and rope. So you can actually attach this if you wanted to one of the Republic gunships if you wanted. Um, something I really liked about this figure as well is all of the detail that was put into the figure. You have the comma, which is his cape-like dress, with the two holsters for his blaster pistols, his shoulder pauldron designating commander status, the visor that can come down, which was a nice, tr nice little touch. And, uh, you know, out of all these clones that were made, I really think this guy was the best of the bunch. And if anyone has any customizing abilities or just has a knack for painting figures, uh, this is probably one of the most customized clones out of this entire uh, Star Wars film. So, um, really, it was uh, truly one of my favorite figures that Hasbro produced. And I really, uh, I'd give it five out of five stars for this guy. Um, definitely a thumbs up. Uh, if you weren't able to find these uh, back in the day, uh, I would assume they're going for more than 10 bucks a pop on eBay. Uh, these really are the nicest uh, clone trooper figures ever made um, out of all the Star Wars films, episodes two and three that had clone troopers. Um, Go get yourself one of these if you don't have one. And until the next uh, review, United We Find. Mm -hmm.